So they'll be calling you a radical, as Einstein would say, Kevin Blanche, as Frieda Meisenblau said in Vienna, Austria. I didn't pick this fight. It picked you and I, Kevin, on the 200th anniversary of Waterloo. I want you to think about this. Really run this through your mind right now. Colin Powell has died of multiple myeloma. The complications, why do you think I got back so early? My doctor made me because I have multiple myeloma. Donald Rumsfeld died of multiple myeloma. You don't think there's some cancer karma kicking around? My father, who was nuked to death by these monsters, died of acute ballastic leukemia, which is a multiple myeloma. I have ML de nouveau, multiple myeloma, OS. It's unsurvivable, they say. I've made 10 years without a transplant. I want you to think about this. Saddam Hussein has weapons of mass destruction. Now think about this. The whole 20-year nightmare of Afghanistan and Iraq. Went off to get a big old sack. Went off to Vietnam to kill the... Went off to Afghanistan to kill the Taliban. I want you to think about this. They not only... I was a huge peace activist in those days. I went crazy. That's how I got scars across my face. Sucker punched because I'm a peace activist. You're really going to stage your own troops at the Polygon. What's the Polygon? They're all coming home with cancer. Oh, they're dying so young. That's the old Russian test site. One of the most radioactive places in the world. Doesn't even come close now because of Fukushima. Fukushima, we are the radioactive. I want you to think about this. And I don't care if this gets four views because unite the fucking clans because this is nuclear energy water. I want you to really run this through your mind. As Einstein would say, Freedom Eisenblau on the 200th anniversary of water. I'm in her house. One of the greatest anti-nuclear activists who ever lived. That's where I got this house. At hat. That's where I got my jacket. She gave me that jacket. Albert. Nuclear energy Waterloo is right here, right now. Colin Powell died of multiple myeloma. That's what I have. So did Rumsfeld. 84. Complications of COVID? Where do you think COVID came from? From the sea? <laughs> you know my take on COVID. Let's see. A fish? The first hypothesis was a fish, a horseshoe bat. I think it's irony, but it's the horseshoe crab that is the, you know, tries to save us, the blue bloods. The first hypothesis that ever come out, the World Health Organization has doubled down on, horseshoe bat eats fish in wet market. Human eats horseshoe bat, jumps. Bats, crab, the highest immune systems on earth, oh yeah. Where did the fish get it? The Wuhan lab thesis? Are they mutually exclusive? All coincidence, bro. Fukushima. This is Waterloo. Why would Barry Antoinette Obama... Is Barack Obama the greatest criminal who ever walked? And Trump second? Yes, there's absolutely no doubt. Why would Obama be going to Glasgow to the UN IAEA? Why would they have an unite the fucking clans? For I am William Wallace. This is fucking <laughs> Midway. This is Waterloo. This is nuclear energy Waterloo, right? And they're I got news. They're throwing down. They are going all in. They're taking the Treasury Secretary. They're taking Blinken with Beacon. They're taking Obama, everybody. They're going, they're throwing down because they know the UN has had it with them. So thank you, Austria. Uh-uh. Austria's fighting back so fiercely right now. <laughs> Those fools in the Czech Republic, they they threw, they woke up. They woke up, they threw that oligarch out, Pandora's papers on Balco. This situation room. I know what happened word for word. And it's the greatest crime in human history. They know, what about the U.S.? They make it so car right? They nuked their old man. Just like they did him. They tried to make a sequel out of me. What a day. I couldn't sleep. I got to find Why? Why? Oh, this is it. This is the apocalypse. This is it. Right here. 
I'm telling you, in the United States right now, either you wake up to the anti-nuclear matter, this country's over. It's Gorbachev. I've talked to Gorbachev face to face twice in Austria. In Vienna. We went in Vin. We went in Vid. Zagu! We went in Vin. It was Chernobyl that took down the old Soviet Union and Tsar Putin replaced and looted the fucking country. What do you think is going on here? We either stop right here, right now, this whole nuclear fucking freak show. <laughs> TikTok, yeah. We're going to get a major nuclear disaster any fucking time right here, right now in the U.S. And you don't think it's over? Oh, beyond over. I'm telling you, we already got one. It's called Fukushima. Barack Obama inside the situation. John Holdren. Rahm Emanuel. Barack Obama. Nato Khan was forced out as a Japanese PM. They've puppeted up a new. How's this party been in fucking power for 11, 12? I read recently that fucking 90% of the Japanese populace were against restarting those nuclear energy reactors. And the anti-nuclear energy react, uh, president, up by 20 points, loses Yalta by the sea. Barack Obama's own words. These treaties were signed right before Ivan. This will be recorded in history by Kevin Blanche into the library. <laughs> the greatest anti-nuclear energy fighter that ever lived. Freedom Eisen Blau. Vienna, Austria on the 200th anniversary of Waterloo. Kevin Blanche. Now, this is important. Listen. Get this recorder and backed up. She didn't know, she didn't tell anybody she was dying of cancer. She had cancer. She didn't tell anyone. She requested the meeting with me at her apartment. She said she was a little bit worried about her English. She asked me, do you understand Austrian German? I says, pretty good. I'll be okay. I'll be all right. Okay. She says, I might jump back. I'm, I'm, I'm fine. I have never been grilled like this in my life. Not by the legendary finance professor Clyde Cooley. Not by Dr. Winter. Not by my incredible, incredible father. Shut the fuck up, boy, and get to fucking work. <laughs> I, wasn't, I knew what he meant. You're way too pretty to have an opinion. I was not born with these scars across my face. As a peace activist, I fight. I fight my whole life. Colin Powell dies in Malta, Alabama. So does Rumsfeld. Think about this. They sprayed to Peter. Think about the fact that Bo Biden, well, Barack Obama's mother was a downwinder. Oh, Kansas got hammered by the open air tests in Nevada. Hammered. It's called no respect. That's what we've turned into this. No honor, no respect. Barack Obama covered up Fukushima. Period. He was the buck stopped where he nuked his old man on the USS Reagan. You know that it was. I said that right. He fooled me because I was a peace activist and the vote was against. And he was ran as he got a Nobel Prize. Remember? Who knew that one of my strongest suits was killing people? That was rumored. That's been verified now. Two different insiders in his own staff have written books and verified he said that. He's got a Nobel Peace Prize. He, why would he be going to Glasgow? Oh, it's Nuclear Energy Waterloo. And I am your fucking William Wallace. And he, the Nuclear Energy freaking, they are on. How about Biden? Oh, my God, has he betrayed us? Talk about, you know, how about Bo Biden? White phosphorus depleted uranium on your own men? Where does that come from? A nuclear energy reactor. This is it. I'm telling you, this is Waterloo right here, right now. Freedom Eyes and to Kevin Blanche on the 200th anniversary of Waterloo. I, I've never been talked to that like that in my life. She, oh, her beautiful, incredible, that Franciscan freaking teapot sitting there. Provide you sit there and went, oh, I got my funeral jacket that day. Kevin, I know your story. I know your father's story. I know the anti-nuclear movement around this world like no other. I'm the one that shut down the reactor. You know, um, yes, ma'am. I sit and basically listen to her. First question, Kevin, I'm going to ask you a question right now. This is important. You answer me correctly. How much energy does a nuclear reactor really produce? And I says negative. It's minus. They have to keep their spent fuel pools cool. Or 
warmed in the winter so they don't freeze them because they're full of spent fuel. So the negative energy, they use diesel generators, they use coal, they use whatever. They're they, negative. They're there to make bombs and to empower people and to threaten people. It's repression. It's a loot job, Price Anderson. She says, that's all I needed to hear from you. I knew you were the one. She says, here's the spear. You're the tip of the spear. Now, don't you dare drop it. And they're going to do everything in the world to go after you. Are you ready? I says, she says, I know about your cancer. I know about your multiple myeloma. I know about your leukemia. You're the one. You're the only one strong enough to fight because they're going to viciously come after you with everything they got, like they did me. <laughs> She's the greatest. Four hours. Four hours, she just grew up. Go ask Pravod, nuclear eyes. He'd come out of there, he's like, oh. I said, yeah, I thought her English was so good. It was perfectly clear. Four hours, she grew up me. Don't you dare drop this spear. You got me. Yes, ma'am. Can you do this? Zergu. Oh, I'm going to do it. This is nuclear energy water right here, right now. Thank you, and we went in Vin. We went, thank you, in Austria. They're fighting back so fiercely right now. Thank you, in Denmark. Thank you, in Germany. You know, we're, we're trying, we're fighting. You know. He doesn't have his carrier pigeon on the battlefield this time, does he? <laughs> Lord Rothschild. <laughs> Where I am, the William Wallace. Barack Obama... And Donald Trump are the two greatest criminals in human history. Yes. The cover-up of Fukushima is the greatest crime in human history. There is absolutely no doubt. Frida died shortly thereafter that. I'm the one that announced it to the world. In a snowstorm. Looking up at the mountain. Kitzbühel Snow Basin. This is it. I'm telling you, the next 30 days, it's it. Either we shut it down right here now, and the EU's going to shut it down. Internationally, the UN, pff, the IEA runs the UN. We know that. But they can't put pressure on the other countries. And you ICANners that are saying you're okay, I like the NPR article that's out on Megan Rice right now. Oh, she did two years. No, she didn't. She did well over three. That was before she even went to trial. Obama charges a terrorist. <laughs> Think about what Obama did to Aaron Swartz. Obama's the greatest criminal who ever walked the face of the earth. And that's why it's going to be recorded in history. And the second is Donald J. Trump. He met with a B-18 times. What do you think they're talking about, their golf game? The cover-up of Fukushima is the greatest crime. And these oligarchs are, I've told everybody for years, it's the top of the heap. It's the great equalizer. What's the great equalizer? Multiple myeloma. I think it's incredibly iron. You know how many troops are coming home? from freaking Iraq, from Afghanistan, that are dying young of cancer, including him. That was classified. My uncle who just passed away, they, they don't get higher ranking. I was at his funeral Saturday with my funeral jacket on that Frida gave me. Unite the fucking clans. This is nuclear Waterloo. This is it. Colin Powell dies of multiple myeloma. So did Donald Rumsfeld. Whoa. Einstein would say, your light goes on. I proved it. The human body is made of energy. It goes somewhere. And he said that these, it's purely good versus evil. And their spirits are sucked into a black hole. What is the odds of both of them having multiple myeloma? The exact disease that I have. Whoa. COVID hammers cancer patients. Hammers them. Oh, I know. It's a scary fight. It's an incredible fight. Wow. It's historic. They can kettle me. They can I can get three views because I am the William Wallace. And we're going to win this fight. Just like I won my fight with fucking leukemia. It ain't over. It'll never be over. One man, Bam Blanche, you can all quit me. You can all flee. I don't care. They can kettle me because if at some point you're supporting a political party at this point, Trump or Obama, Biden, 
It will be the third criminal, the way he's going. Where's Kamala Harris on this? Her mother, the epidemiologist at Livermore that helped to shut down Senate Offrey. Where's she at on this? Where's Caroline Kennedy on this? Where are these powers there be? Where's their fucking voice? You got me. It's nuclear Waterloo. And Barack Obama and Donald Trump are that will be recorded in history as the two greatest criminals in human history. The cover-up of Fukushima is the greatest crime there ever was. And they're trying to double down. Not going to happen. <laughs> Rothschild's fucking carrot pigeon. Oh, it's dead. It went extinct from nuclear energy. <laughs> Saddam Hussein had weapons of mass destruction. Third greatest lie in human history. George W. Bush won the 2000 election. Second greatest lie in human history. The greatest lie in human history? Nuclear energy. Not my words. His. What's the odds of Callum Bowen? Freaking, it's impossible. As I said, how many times have I said this? You people that have watched it for years, we have one hope, and that's the powers there be, God. Oh, he'll take care of this, and it'll be cancer karma. I'm telling you, the chickens are coming home to roost, Barry. Antoinette Obama, let them eat yellow cake. <laughs> He's the kingpin of all this. No respect for his mother. Joe Biden has no respect. Say it ain't so for his, It's disturbing. Greatest criminal in human history, Barack Obama. Second greatest criminal in human history, Donald J. Trump. Third to be, Joe Biden. The Fukushima disaster is the greatest crime in human history. The cover-up. It's the greatest event in human history. The cover-up's the greatest crime in human... Just genocide the Pacific Ocean. How many people is it killed? <laughs> uh, we may never know. Oh, we'll know. Oh, we'll know. There's only one hope, because the sheep believe the powers there be. They've got the internet. They've got academia, they have Noah, they have Greenpeace, they have them all, they have them all captured with their golden handcuffs, and these weaklings will not stand up. We'll let God take care of it. Freedom Eisenblower to Kevin Blanche. In Vienna, Austria, on the 200th anniversary of Waterloo, in her apartment. Don't you dare drop this spear. Stay in tune it. One word. Fukushima. The next 30 days will tell the fate of the world. Forever. <laughs> you don't turn your back on nuclear energy in the United States. This country is, it's on, it's right now, we're, the United States is on the ropes. They're on the ropes because of Fukushima. They're on their knees. They've got a standing 10 count, a standing 8 count. Fukushima, nuclear energy will be the knockout blow. Either turn your back right here, right now, or just freaking accept it. Unbelievable. Nuclear energy Waterloo is now.